This is Business Rockstars. I'm Pat O'Brien. Our rock star today is a smoothie genius. Is that correct in saying? Yeah, that okay. works. All right, so you're that gonna works. take the genius word. Yep. Alex Bayer, who is the founder and CEO of Genius Juice. Alex, how are you? I'm doing very good. How are you, Pat? I'm great, thank you. And uh, Alex uh, has an interesting uh, take on his entrepreneurship, is that he decided to go with one product, for now anyway, one only, and that's coconut smoothie, right? Exactly. You could have had, I mean, with the explosion of smoothies everywhere, Whole Foods and all that, you could have had a hundred flavors, why coconut? Well, coconut is literally one of the fastest growing beverage categories right now. It's mm -hmm. literally growing 30 to 40% every single year. It's also just a wonder food. You know, people drink it, they feel amazing benefits from it, you know, from the potassium, you know, and the electrolytes. Mm -hmm. So people are drinking coconut water versus something like Gatorade, right? Right. So people are getting healthier and making healthier choices. So I really saw the trend you know, for coconut, uh, but at the same time, I saw that there was a gap in the marketplace. And that gap was everything is coconut water, you know, like <laughs> everything. Me. Everywhere I look, it's all they sell. And it's so saturated. You know, there's, uh, in the early 2000s, there was about 80 brands of coconut water, which is still a lot. You know, there was the Zico's, right? And all right. these, Vita Coco. Now, there are over a thousand different brands of coconut water nationally. That's insane. But they don't taste different, do they? Yeah, they're all, you know, they're sourced from different areas of the world. Did you tell the difference? I can, I'm a connoisseur when it comes to I coconut. I bet you are, yeah. yeah. But this is a coconut smoothie, and we'll talk about that a little later. Yep. Did you always want to be an entrepreneur? Well, since literally I was 10 years old, I was going on eBay and actually buying and selling I was, I totally nerded out, you know, mm -hmm. I'm still a nerd, but I was even more of a nerd back then. I think we all are at this point. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> and so I was literally selling Star Wars figures online through eBay. I take it back, you are a nerd. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> much more of a nerd than most people, yeah. So you're selling Star Wars stuff. Yes, and so, eBay. and uh, I just, I really got a huge hunger way back then for just buying and selling and actually profiting. Mm -hmm. So from there, I started all these other businesses all online through eBay and realized this is a lot more fun than just, you know. Going to work. Going to work. Right. And it felt like, like passion, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what I wanted. So even in that young age, I, I started getting that passion and then I, it really never stopped. Well, there's a certain amount of adrenaline that kicks in when you can sell something right away and make money. Exactly. First time it ever happens, it's incredible. It's bad, yeah, and especially because I used to sell insurance for nine years. Mm -hmm. So if you can sell insurance, you can really sell, sell, anything. sell anything. Yeah. yeah. So um, is there somebody in your life that uh, steered you into entrepreneurship? A, a parent, a friend, a grandfather? You know, what's interesting is I didn't, you know, my, my father is a doctor. Mm -hmm. So he's obviously a huge just an inspiration and a great support for me. But it's really my, my grandfather, mm -hmm. you know, my Grandpa Mickey. And he, he passed on you know, about 10 years ago, but, um, but he used to sell shoes, actually. And he used to drive all around the country selling shoes, and that's how he supported. The traveling shoe salesman, I even remember those. Yeah, when I was a kid back in the old days before you know Amazon and eBay. Right? right, he would be out of business today. Right, but back then it was a very hot business. And one thing he taught me was that remember he said to me, remember something special about every single person that you meet, mm -hmm. and write it down. You know, if they have a son that's just going to college, bring that up. If they have a hobby, if they like to golf, bring that up. So I learned a lot about how to build rapport with people not just trying to sell them something. And that's always been the, uh, the genius and the gift of great politicians. Uh, say what you want about them, but George McGovern uh, was one of those guys. Uh, yeah, he, the, would, he the, would meet, ran against Nixon, right? He uh, ran yes. Against, yeah. uh, he would meet somebody, uh, he met my stepdad, who was you know, uh, a ham a cleaner down at John Morrell meat bagging plant. He met him once. And then I was working for George, and, and they all came out to visit, and George saw him, and he goes, Al, how you been? You still working at the meat plant? I mean, I was like amazed. Wow. Because, you know, not a lot of people have that skill, especially now. You just Google them, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, um, so you got into the smoothie business. That's quite the turn. Uh, how much research did you do before you got into it? I did a lot of... Not just on coconut, but on all of it. 
Yeah, I did a lot of market research, not only online, but literally just going to a lot of different stores, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's Whole Foods or Sprouts, you know, nationally traveling, just looking in the stores and asking a lot of people in my community, in my sphere of influence, right. what, what do you normally buy? What do you like? What do it's you- It's the first thing you asked me, by the way, when we sat down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, and that's very, you know, a very good thing to know how people work, right? Mm -hmm. What they want to buy. And the, 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 uh, the reoccurring answer was, I'm tired of juice, like normal mm -hmm. cold pressed juice, like the evolutions and the sujas right. and all those. I'm looking for something that has more protein, more fiber, and it's an actual meal replacement. And so I started thinking about that and I said, you know what? Um, I love coconut. The coconut industry is like, like this right now, mm -hmm. but coconut water is not enough. What's missing from it is the rest of the coconut. So really all we did was that we added the rest of the coconut meat, the oils, the good fats, and blended the water and the meat from a coconut together. And that's how you get genius juice. And your logo is Einstein, right? Yes, we uh, we can't say it's exactly Einstein. Oh, okay. But it, your logo, it, but it looks, that it looks like. By the way, your logo <laughs> looks kind of like Albert Einstein. Yeah, much better. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it hard to get all those uh, patents and trademarks when, you, when you're playing around with Einstein's image or image, as we say, and juice and genius? The paperwork must have been insane. It's a, uh, you know, that's why you know there's lawyers. You know, they all handle that. But it did take quite a long time. It took about a year to get the. That's because you had lawyers doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the hour, right? Right. So uh, yeah, the the Einstein logo or the like Einstein logo, right. the coconut head that looks like Einstein. We it took about a year to get that. Genius juice has been a little bit harder to get. So we're in the final process of actually securing it. Right. It took almost two years to get because there's other companies that have used those words, genius juice. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is, you know, we're different, right? It's a coconut drink instead of whatever else they were using it for. It's not really juice, is it? I mean, it's more of a, uh, it's a smoothie. Yeah, it's a smoothie, yeah. yeah. And, you know, we, Genius Juice is the, is the name of our company when we first started, but we actually uh, edited our bottle, so it just says the word genius. So we're really more converting it over to genius coconut smoothie. Okay. That's genius. It is. And that's how I, you know, I, w once I had a friend who was blending a whole coconut mm -hmm. and I tasted it and I said, wow, you know, this is amazing. This is genius. And that's really how I came up with the name. It just seems like every time I go to Whole Foods and I go there every day, it just seems like there's another smoothie out. And now you can just pick, you can make your own, obviously, you know, with, uh, you can pick any product. Uh, does that scare you that there's so many different smoothie drinks out there? It, Already. It scared me at first yeah. when we launched and we launched in July of 2014 and I was thinking, wow, you know, there's Odwalla, like there's Naked Juice, there's all these new drinks coming out backed by a lot of money. How are we able going to, how are yeah. we ever going to survive in this environment? But how we did and also not only survive but thrive is that we have a very unique product that no one else is doing. Everyone else is doing coconut water, and we're the first to release what's called the coconut smoothie with protein and fiber. And the reason that it's succeeding is people want that kind of nutrition, and it's really missing from all the other drinks that are out there. So uh, what kind of a turn was this coming out of the insurance industry? Well, obviously, what, what things did you have to learn to pivot that way? Right. Well, what made it a lot easier is that for the last 10 years prior, Basically, before I, I, I stepped into doing Genius Juice, mm -hmm. I was a big health food junkie advocate, mm -hmm. right? And so I always followed a very healthy, organic lifestyle. And I always sought these types of healthy ingredients and products. So I, I had a good grasp of what was hot on the market, what people bought. And I'm running with you know, the organic crowd of a lot of friends that follow a very clean lifestyle, mm -hmm. you know, do yoga and all that. So I, I really got a lot of personal experience on the food and beverage industry and where it's moving to. What also made it easier was that I transitioned to starting Genius Juice in 2013. And that's really the movement, right? Was really big um, for organic. Organic, yeah. It's, uh, 
in the last five, yeah, in the last five years or so, it's really kicked in. I mean, it's like, if it doesn't have organic on it, there's not a lot of people gonna rush to that. Well, that's the Whole Foods thing, right? That became. That's what they're, they're riding on right now. And now everyone's, what's, so, what's also so exciting is everyone's getting into it. You know, you got Kroger, you know, you right, know Ralph's, right. Vons, you know, Safeway. Uh, you got Costco, you know, you got Sam's Club. Even 7-Eleven, they're bringing in, you know, who thought they would ever see organic food at 7-Eleven, right? Um, so. Most of the people that work here. <laughs> 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 this is Business Rockstars. I'm Pat O'Brien. He's Alex Bayer back in a minute. Welcome back to Business Rockstars. I'm Pat O'Brien. He's Alex Bayer, the founder and CEO of Genius Juice. I love that name. You should have changed the name Genius to J and called JJ Juice. JJ. I like calling it Genius Jew because I'm Jewish. <laughs> that, that could work too, right? <laughs> uh, in, in some circles, it might work. Yes. Um, but anyway, so here it is. Here's the product he came up with, and it's a coconut smoothie. Can you see that there? And it's, you know, I like it because it's heavy. And it's heavy because it has actual coconut in it, right? Exactly. So when you drink it, does it stick in your teeth now? This goes, it goes down smooth. Yeah. So, but we actually, we import uh, all the coconuts from Thailand. Mm -hmm. Why Thailand? It's the best tasting coconut in the world. How do you know? Tasted, I've tasted 26 different types of coconuts. Okay, you know. And I know, yeah. yeah okay. There's like Brazilian, there's Philippines, there's Sri Lankan, uh, you know, there's um, Vietnamese coconuts. Mm -hmm. And nothing has the sweetness and that nice, crisp taste like Thai coconuts. So, um, and then you have the Einstein look-alike on the front to give it that genius look. And uh, what's in here that I should not be drinking? Nothing, right? Uh, nothing that, that you should not be drinking. That's a double tricky question. Right. So yeah, everything in there is clean, it's organic, and also non-GMO verified. We have two ingredients, coconut water and coconut meat and that's it. So we blend those two together, and that's how you get the smoothie. So the meat is actually in the bottle. I've already had one, so I'm kind of lying here. Uh, and coconut water, it's very good. It's, it's nutritious as well, right? Very nutritious. So yeah. how many of these have you sold? So since the, our inception? Yeah. Well, in our sales, we hit almost about half a million this year. Mm -hmm. So we did about 250 last year. So I think we've sold probably about over 100,000 bottles mm -hmm. so far, yeah. So, you know, we're early stage, uh, we, but we actually just launched in five additional Whole Foods regions. Mm -hmm. So now we're in half the region, half the Whole Foods in the country. We're in a review with Sprouts right now. Okay. Well, this will be the king of Whole Foods. Totally, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's nothing else like it on the shelf right now. Everything else is coconut water or cold pressed juice. So what kind of feedback did you get when you first started? Well, uh, a lot of people thought, wow, is this you know, with such a saturated market, are you really gonna That's make, what I would have make, said. make a hit? Yeah. You know, there's yeah. already so many brands that are on the market. Well, the genius was that you came up with just one product, right? That exactly, yeah, we, we, we started with actually six different flavors and we soon minimized it down to one. Mm. And our sales actually increased with one flavor versus six. And really, you know, what, what we really mm. emphasize with the branding is this is whole coconut, it's clean and it's unique. Mm -hmm. And the branding is also really fun. So back in the day, uh, Alex, do you think without a Whole Foods, let's say it's just Piggly Wiggly and Sunshine or whatever, right. <laughs> whatever it is back then. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I, I obviously know the trends, but it, it takes almost a special kind of uh, marketer to put these in places. And they're regular stores as well now too, right? Because the organic business is awesome right now. It's growing. Yeah, it's growing even faster than the conventional business mm -hmm. right now. And yeah. do, you, do you expect to branch out into other berries and strawberries? And yeah, I know you're a berry fan. I'm you, a you berry told fan. me that. A berry big fan. Berry big fan. A big fan. berry fan. Uh -huh. okay. And we're actually coming out with the coffee. We're coming out with also a vanilla mm -hmm. coconut smoothie next year, early next year. We are 
currently, I can't get into it too much, but we are looking at different fruit infusions that can go well with coconut, such as mango. Mango goes great with coconut. So we're still playing around with some different possibilities there. But it seems like, uh, you know, a lot of the berry flavors are, are just, there's so many of them already. Right. We want to do something well, more. Aren't unique. you going against your own genius in that uh, when you didn't branch out, you, this was a huge success. And now you want to branch out. Well, the difference was when we first started, we went out the gate just like overly aggressive. We had mm -hmm. too many flavors, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's confusing. Too many flavors on the shelf. So we limited it down to one. And now we're going to slowly build it back up, releasing one flavor at a time. Because I think it's, it's a smart thing to come out with more than one flavor, right? You need to give people variety. Well, from the people that brought you uh, Genius Juice. Exactly. Yeah. And it's same packaging, you know, literally it's going to be the same head, same everything. It's just going to have a different color. And I think like our next flavor, which is the coffee coconut smoothie, mm -hmm. I expect it to do equally as well or better than this one because everyone just goes crazy for coffee. Right. Let me just give you a piece of advice from a consumer. Sure. Me, I'm listening. Who lives a block from a Whole Foods. Um, when I look and see on the shelves and see so many different kinds of smoothies, and so many different kinds of drinks, I leave. I, I, I just don't, I don't have time to figure out which one I want. Or to, and, I, and to read all, I don't do this anyway. But if you just, you know, this I know. When I see this now, I know what's in it. I know it's the only one. And I don't have to make a decision. Is that good advice? It's great advice. Yeah. I'd say the quicker that you can capture a consumer, because mm -hmm. literally all, all of our decisions and this is all, you know, something I research, is all of our decisions, our buying behavior, is emotional. Mm -hmm. There's rationality, but when you go and you grab a bottle off the shelf, it's driven by emotion. And that was really the key behind creating this brand. It's gonna be, it has to be a great brand, it has to taste good, it has to be healthy, but people don't know that. They only buy what they see. So by having a brand that actually captures your eye, mm -hmm. is unique, stands out on the shelf, that's the biggest part of the battle, right? But to get that consumer to come back and buy it again, you gotta actually it's have be good, a right? good product. You're watching Business Rockstars, I'm Pat O'Brien, he's Alex Bayer, the genius juice man, that's not him on the front, that's Albert Einstein. Could be though. To, well, we're not he supposed to say hair, that. But. but you didn't steal that image, right? You got no. it approved. Okay. Yeah, we created so it. Yeah. Let's talk about your favorite entrepreneurs. Sure. Who are they? Well, number one is he actually lives, it's really crazy, he lives a mile and a half from me mm -hmm. in Redondo Beach, and his name is Mark Rampola. Mm -hmm. He's the creator of Zico, Coconut Water. And I met him two and a half years ago. Uh, this man was the first person to bring coconut water to the US. Mm -hmm. He actually worked in uh, Central America, I believe, in Nicaragua and he was working for this huge multi-billion dollar company. And he, he started buying coconuts on the side oh, of the street. By the way, is it coconut water or coconut milk? Uh, ours? No, or I mean, in a coconut. Oh, the, so in the coconut, there's, well, there's water, it's mm -hmm. just water. And then the meat of the coconut on the shell is the, the meat. But when you blend the two together, you get coconut milk. Okay, so go ahead, this is your favorite entrepreneur? Sure, so uh, basically, uh, he brought, he was the first person to bring coconut water to the U.S. But not only that, after he built up Zico from nothing, mm -hmm. then he sold it to Coke, you know, for mm -hmm. multi, multi, millions of dollars. Right. And then after that, he's, he's still in the industry and he created a venture fund that invests in plant-based organic products. So he is a huge, not only an entrepreneur, but also is socially responsible. And that really, in my books, you know, I have the utmost respect right. for him. And he's also mentoring me as well. well. That's cool. So it's cool to have a guy like that near me. You know, uh, is there a fear of having too much, too many smoothies out there? Or are you confident that this one will stick out? Yeah, as long as you're unique and disruptive, doing something different, constantly innovating, I'm not worried about it. You don't seem like you worry. Thank you. Alex. A little bit. Nice, yeah. to meet, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Alex Bayer, the founder of Genius Juice. And that's me on the front. Einstein. <laughs> the glasses. Business rock stars. I'm Pat O'Brien. We'll see you next time.